Wings to Fly is a children's book about gaining confidence and working to succeed, told from the perspective of a young girl who loves to play basketball. She is often left out by her teammates until she meets her guardian angel who teaches her that success takes perseverance. Wings to Fly is a great read for all children. I would highly recommend this book. If you would like to make a purchase, please click on the link in my description box below. The Negro Leagues had all the best athletes. And Jackie Robinson was not the best one. He was the right one. And what I mean by the right one, he was the one that was willing to accept getting spit on, getting kicked, being mistreated. He was the one that was willing to accept all that. So they chose the right one, not the best one because we had plenty of athletes that was way better than Jackie. And many of our other top ball players, they wasn't willing to accept all that. Satchel Paige was born in 1906 from Alabama. Satchel was a troubled teen who got into a little bit of trouble and had to attend a reform school. And that's where he learned the game of baseball and he went on to be a legend who played over two decades of professional baseball. During the offseason, some of the Negro League's top players used to play against some of the Major League's top players. Some accounts say that Babe Ruth has only hit one pitch in his lifetime against Satchel Paige. Satchel tossed him an easy pitch and Babe smacked it out of the ballpark. Satchel Paige ran over to Babe Ruth, yelling at the top of his lungs. Satchel told him, you dirty dog, you better thank God for me. I'll let you hit that pitch. Why? Because I wanted black folks to see you. I wanted black folks to see what everyone was going crazy about. You see, Babe was a star. This was the man. Babe had huge celebrity status. The world loved Babe. The world loved Babe Ruth. So Satchel said he wanted folks to actually see what all the fuss was about. So after he said what he said, he followed that by saying, let's see if you ever hit a pitch on me again. And for the rest of their playing career, Babe never hit a pitch on Satchel Page. Satchel said, this is bigger than me. This is about my people. So Satchel Paige was arguably the best pitcher ever to throw a baseball. He started out his pitching back when baseball, like all of America, was highly segregated and he was playing in what was known as the Negro Leagues. This guy won 2,000 games, pitched in 2,500 games, he pitched what he said were 50 no-hitters, 250 shutouts, and there's all kinds of evidence that this guy may have been the greatest guy ever to step on a pitcher's mound. But what really made him stand out was that he was the guy who brought to the attention of cynical white reporters and a racist white dominated country, he brought to their attention the segregated world of Negro baseball in a way that eventually led to that world being integrated. In 1947, something momentous happened. Jackie Robinson took the field for the Brooklyn Dodgers and integrated the game of baseball. Satchel was, in many ways, the natural choice to be the first, rather than Jackie Robinson, to break the color barrier. And that, in part, is why Branch Rickey picked Jackie Robinson. He understood that Satchel was enough of a star in his own right. Satchel knew his star power and he would have insisted on more money than Jackie was earning in the early days. Satchel had a reputation for being a real character. To a teetotaling guy like Branch Rickey, 
the straight-laced Jackie Robinson was much more appealing. So it was not until 1948, a year after Jackie was signed, that Satchel finally got his shot that he'd been waiting for for more than 20 years. Coming in as a rookie at the age of 42, Satchel play Page helped lead the Cleveland Indians to a World Series. Satchel was an extraordinary character and he lived life large. He had an airplane in his early years in the major leagues that had Satchel Page written across the side of the airplane. Please like the History With No Chaser Facebook and Instagram pages. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit the thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. And let me know what you think in the comment section.